Have you ever seen the 1973 movie Tom Sawyer? If not, you're in for a treat. This classic film is packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments that will keep you entertained from start to finish. When did you first watch this movie? Maybe it was during a lazy Sunday afternoon or a cozy movie night with friends and family. Whenever it was, we bet you have some cherished memories or personal experiences related to this film. As the story unfolds, you'll follow Tom Sawyer, a mischievous boy living in a small town. He's always getting into trouble with his friends, but he's also full of adventure and charm. But the fun doesn't stop there. There are plenty of surprises along the way that will keep you on the edge of your seat. From daring escapades to heartwarming moments, Tom Sawyer has it all. So, grab some popcorn and get ready for a roller coaster ride of emotions. And don't forget to share your favorite moments and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. In 1973, a TV show debuted, capturing the adventures of a young boy living in a quaint town by the Mississippi River during the 1800s. The storyline revolves around his escapades alongside friends, including his closest companion and his crush. The show portrays the essence of childhood mischief, friendship, and growth. The central character, a resourceful and mischievous young lad, often finds himself entangled in predicaments but cunningly overcomes challenges. His best friend, a carefree soul residing on society's fringes, frequently accompanies him on his exploits. The adventurous girl, who captivates the young boy's heart, adds a romantic element to the tale. Throughout the series, viewers embark on a journey filled with treasure hunts, encounters with notorious characters, and pirate escapades. The adaptation of the classic novel captivates audiences with its nostalgic portrayal of youthful adventures. The show garnered critical acclaim for its faithful rendition of the classic tale and its portrayal of childhood antics. It received accolades for its storytelling, performances, and direction, solidifying its status as a cherished classic for audiences of all ages. In a classic movie from 1973, the young actor faced an unusual challenge during a scene involving a pipe. Being a Mormon, he couldn't smoke tobacco. Instead, they used ground-up cabbage leaves in the pipe. He, known for his role, co-starred with young Jodie Foster twice in films. The first time was in a Disney movie, and then she played alongside him as Becky Thatcher. He also promoted a line of boys' clothing after being cast in the musical film, later expanding to his own line. In an interview, he revealed that he initially didn't want to make the movie. His parents insisted, so they reached a compromise. He shot the film for a few weeks before going to summer camp. After eight weeks of shooting, he was picked up by a helicopter and flown to camp, which he found humiliating in front of the entire cast. Despite the success of the film, which did well at the box office and received positive reviews, he still regrets not spending the entire summer at camp. In the story, there's a steam-powered boat named the Julia Bell Swain. It was made in 1971 by a captain named Dennis Trone. The boat's steam engines were built in 1915 and originally used on another boat called the City of Baton Rouge. This boat has a rich history, logging lots of miles. It played a big part in a movie and its sequel. The project started at Warner Brothers, but later moved to Reader's Digest and United Artists. This was Reader's Digest's first try at making a movie. Two composers started working on turning the story into a musical in 1968. In 1973, a movie based on the classic tale of a mischievous boy hit the screens. Before landing the lead role, about 4,000 boys auditioned. However, Johnny Whittaker, known for his roles in Disney's Napoleon and Samantha, and the TV series Family Affair, secured the part, despite initially not wanting it. The movie premiered at Radio City Music Hall, generating substantial advance ticket sales. Jeff East joined the cast after catching the producer's attention in a local TV commercial. In the movie adaptation of the classic tale, the setting shifts from the fictional St. Petersburg to the real town of Hannibal, Missouri. Screenwriters Robert B. Sherman and Richard M. Sherman made this adjustment, aligning the film with the actual location that inspired the story. Warren Oates, who played a significant role in the film, didn't lend his singing voice to the soundtrack. Instead, a professional country singer named Billy Strange mimicked Oates' singing style. This decision was made because Oates' singing abilities didn't meet the requirements for the soundtrack, a fact that left him dissatisfied with the outcome. Among the notable cast members is Celeste Holm, who was born in New York. She joins a list of 23 Oscar-winning actresses hailing from the same state, including Anne Hathaway, Susan Sarandon, and Mira Sorvino. In a classic film, Jeff East, famous for his role in Superman, acted alongside Johnny Whittaker, who won the lead role after beating out 4,000 other boys. Celeste Holm also made a strong comeback to acting after taking a break for six years. 
the actor's chemistry brought to life the beloved characters from a timeless story by an acclaimed author. Every scene felt real, pulling viewers into the adventures and fun of Huck Finn, Becky Thatcher, and their friends. This film's success didn't just show how talented the actors were, but also how much people still love this old story. In the early 1970s, a young actor named Johnny Whittaker starred in a movie alongside Jodie Foster. It was in this film that Foster had her first on-screen kiss. The movie was based on a famous story by an author from the past. The main character in the story resembled the author himself, and he went on adventures with his friends in a small town. One of his friends was similar to a boy the author knew named Huck, and there was also a girl character who resembled someone the author was romantically involved with. The bad guy in the story was inspired by a local person with a complicated personality. Despite being made a long time ago, the movie is still loved today for its portrayal of childhood adventures and relationships. In a series of literary adventures, a well-known character is accompanied by other works, such as Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer Abroad, and Tom Sawyer Detective. Two unfinished books, Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer, and The Indians, completed by author Lee Nelson, and The Mysterious Stranger, remained unpublished. In the 1973 movie, a notable actor marked a departure by participating in his first musical since his university days. This shift added a unique dimension to the actor's filmography, diverging from his previous roles. A notable aspect omitted in the movie adaptation is the main character's pre-existing friendship with a local boy, setting the stage for their interactions and adventures. These behind-the-scenes details and narrative choices contribute to the movie's unique portrayal, shedding light on aspects not always evident in the classic tale. Exploring a TV movie from the early 1970s, we're drawn into a tale of small-town adventures, brought to life by the direction of James Nielsen and production by Reader's Digest. This film, focused on the escapades of a mischievous boy, captures the essence of a classic story without unnecessary embellishments. What makes this rendition unique is the casting choice of two actors, Jeff East and Lucille Benson, who seamlessly transitioned from this movie to its sequel the following year, adding a layer of continuity to the cinematic exploration of timeless characters. In a cinematic world often filled with complex ensembles, this movie stands out for its simplicity and reliance on strong leads, highlighting the enduring appeal of the narrative. The connection between the two films becomes a thread linking the adventures of two beloved characters, with East and Benson serving as the cinematic anchor for this journey through small-town shenanigans. Throughout this cinematic exploration, the focus remains on a straightforward narrative, showcasing the actors' commitment to their roles and the seamless transition between the two films. It's a notable chapter in the cinematic portrayal of beloved characters from classic literature. In the movie Tom Sawyer from 1973, two Oscar winners, Celeste Holm and Jodie Foster, are part of the cast. Historian and sociologist Carter Rivard highlighted Mark Twain's prejudice against Native Americans, which influenced the character in Jun Jo in the movie. Despite promotional images showing Tom, Huck, and Becky together, Huck and Becky never interact in the story. Huck refers to Becky as Bessie Thatcher in Huckleberry Finn, even getting her name wrong. It's a noteworthy detail about the film's dynamics reuniting Jodie Foster and Johnny Whittaker from their collaboration in Napoleon, and Samantha the previous year, the 1973 movie showcases a familiar on-screen partnership. Whittaker, featured in an interview by Tom Goldrup and Jim Goldrup for their book, Growing Up on the Set Interviews with 39 Former Child Actors of Classic Film and Television, provides insights into his experiences during the film. A notable aspect of the movie is its musical composition by John Williams. As of 2010, this film stands as the last work by Williams to receive a G rating from the MPAA, emphasizing the family-friendly nature of the soundtrack. In summary, the 1973 film not only brings together familiar faces, but also marks the conclusion of an era for John Williams as he delivers a G-rated composition. These elements contribute to the movie's significance in the context of its cast and crew. In 1973, the Sherman Brothers achieved a significant milestone in cinematic history by winning first prize at the Moscow Film Festival for their work on the movie. Additionally, they were responsible for crafting the screenplay. Johnny Whittaker, along with six of his siblings, were part of the cast in the film. Composer John Williams took on the role of music director for the Boston Pops Orchestra in January 1980, succeeding Arthur Fiedler. Williams later assumed the title of Boston Pops Laureate Conductor upon his retirement in December 1993 after 14 successful seasons. He also holds the position of artist-in-residence at Tanglewood. Before the 1973 movie adaptation, 
There was a 1968 Hanna-Barber series featuring characters from the Tom Sawyer story. The series aired on NBC and blended animation with live action, showcasing Tom, Becky, Huck, and Injun Joe in a fantasy setting battling mythological creatures weekly. During filming, Aunt Polly's house, owned by Arrow Rock resident Paige Williams, faced structural issues due to the weight of equipment. The film crew reinforced the floors, offering Paige a consolation role as an extra, listed in the credits as Saloon Girl. Sadly, the house burned down not long after filming, possibly due to the previously damaged floors. In a surprising turn, a 1973 movie faced a tragic incident during its production. A young actor who played one of the main characters sadly passed away before the film was finished. This deeply affected everyone involved, casting a sad atmosphere over the project. Directed by Don Taylor, the film brought to life a classic novel story with vivid storytelling and memorable characters. It followed the adventures of a young boy growing up along a river, capturing the essence of childhood escapades and friendships. The main character, portrayed by a talented young actor, embodied the mischievous spirit and curiosity of the beloved literary figure. Alongside his friend, he embarked on daring adventures, encountered colorful characters, and faced the challenges of growing up in a small town. The movie's nostalgic charm resonated with audiences, evoking a longing for simpler times and the innocence of youth. Through its authentic portrayal of the novel's characters, the film captured the essence of American literature and left a lasting impression on generations of viewers. Despite the tragedy during its production, the 1973 movie remains a poignant reminder of the timeless appeal of the novel's storytelling and the enduring power of friendship and adventure. Amidst the production of a movie back in 1973, a tragic incident occurred involving one of the actors. During a scene involving a watercraft, the actor portraying the lead character faced a fatal accident, which deeply affected everyone involved in the film. This unexpected event led to a somber atmosphere on set and caused delays as investigations were conducted. The movie, based on a classic novel, depicted the adventures of a young boy growing up in a small town along the Mississippi River. Directed by a well-known filmmaker, the film stayed true to the original story, showcasing the escapades of the main character and his friends, including the mischievous Huckleberry Finn. Together, they embarked on various adventures, from treasure hunting to attending their own funeral, capturing the essence of childhood curiosity and themes of friendship and adventure. Despite the challenges faced during production, including the tragic accident, the movie received praise for its authentic portrayal of the era and memorable performances. The film's nostalgic charm and enduring appeal continue to resonate with audiences, earning it a place as a classic in the genre of coming-of-age cinema. Despite the impact of the accident, the movie left a lasting impression on viewers worldwide with its portrayal of youthful adventure and memorable characters.